Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. So I've got to do a video. So I might have been telling people wrong for a little while. Coffee cup sizes and how much coffee to put in a, a coffee maker. So I don't know why this is so confusing, but coffee makers and they've just made this way too confusing than what it is. And it all starts with, so these are 12 cup coffee makers. Okay, so see how that says 12? So that's not actual serving cups, which I, I already knew that. I knew that wasn't an actual cup. But where I was running into problems was I was considering that a cup in their manual. So if you go to their manual for this Mr. Coffee coffee maker, it's not for this one, it's for a different one, but it says 12 cups to brew 12 cups nine tablespoons well i used to think well you want one tablespoon per cup but when you look at folgers and, and every and most coffees are this way so this is ground coffee it says one serving six fluid ounces one tablespoon I guess I kind of always thought six ounces was one cup of coffee pot cups, but it's not. And I'm going to show you. So six fluid ounces. What is six fluid ounces? Okay, so let's start off with this is a normal house everyday cup. I'm going to pour it into here. And it's eight fluid ounces. So one of these is eight ounces. Mr. Coffee says a one serving is six ounces. So now let's see what one of these on a coffee pot equals. Okay, so in order to get a better idea, I filled this up to 12. So this is 12 coffee cups. So 12 coffee cups is like eight cups or two quarts, but we're mainly worried about cups. So, so a, co a, co a coffee pot 12 equals eight normal baking cups. Okay, so if one cup equals eight fluid ounces and then one pot equals eight cups, we're going to do the math and figure that out. Okay, so there's 64 fluid ounces. There's 64 fluid ounces in a 12 cup coffee pot. Okay, so on a coffee grounds container, it says one serving is six fluid ounces. So then if we do the math, 64 fluid ounces divided by six, that means there's 10 servings. So a coffee pot, even though it says 12, is only 10 servings according to what they think a serving is which is six fluid ounces and that's what let's well, see even mr coffee is a little bit different one cup equals five fluid ounces of brewed coffee okay so i see how they got that if you take there's 64 fluid ounces in that 12 cut 12 cup coffee pot. If you divide that by 12, that means there's 5.33 ounces. So there's 5.33 ounces in each one of these serving cups on a coffee pot. So that's, that's why Mr. Coffee, they just kind of rounded down to five. So I've kind of been telling people wrong. I've been saying put 12 tablespoons in for a 12 cup coffee maker. I apologize for that. This was just very, very confusing, and it took me a while to kind of... I've been making coffee for a while, and I've, I've never figured it out. Um, so you're going to want to put for a 12-cup coffee... You're going to want to put about 9 to 10 tablespoons of coffee. You know, but then the math gets a little more... It gets a little confusing. So say people want to do um, 8 cups. Well, then, you know... 
it was easier if you, if you did an eight cup, you would just say put eight tablespoons. If you do 12, put 12 in. I'm going to have to do some math and kind of figure out what you would need for each one of those. Well, I won't do the math. They got this little chart here. So they've pretty much rounded up. So for four cups of a coffee maker, you have three tablespoons, six is four and a half, eight is six and a half, ten is 7.5, and 12 is nine. So, so I'm, when I continue to do my reviews, I'm going to have to clarify that. So it's just one tablespoon. Uh, so it's 10 tablespoons for a 12 cup coffee maker. And I've looked, I've got several different coffees here. I've got um, some in a bag. And they all say the same thing. One heaping tablespoon of ground coffee for each six fluid ounces. Here's a Starbucks. They want you to use two tablespoons. Yikes. That's twice as much. I'm not sure if some coffee makers can handle two tablespoons for each cup of coffee on a brew. So I guess this video was just to kind of clarify, and I want you know it was kind of a revelation for me. So I wanted to share it with everybody. Um, you know, I have done some reviews in the past where the coffee grounds came up in the filter too high, so that might have been because there was just too much coffee in it. Um, not quite sure, but you know, and everybody's gonna you got you kind of get used to a taste that you want. So, you know, like me, I on my coffee maker, I keep a I keep a half a tablespoon cup in my coffee grounds, and I and I always do a half a, a cup of coffee, but I've got a 10 cup coffee maker that I use from Bun quite a bit. So again, if, if your coffee grounds are maybe overflowing, maybe make sure you're using the right amount. Um, if you you can go up or down depending on how the coffee tastes to you, if it tastes too strong or too weak. But again, I, I just hope this video helps. My, my idea behind these videos is just to help. And I do apologize if I've not been right in the past. But in the future, I'm going to watch that six fluid ounces. And I'm not sure why they had to make, I'm sure this is just really old school uh, coffee pots. They say cups. They're not really cups. And then a cup is not a cup. And the fluid ounces is a fluid ounces. And it just, it kind of gets really, really confusing. Um, so again, this is just a dad. I hope this video helped. Um, if you could, if you want to leave some comments, um, again, I may be completely off on this. I think I'm kind of right on it right now, but, um, if you leave some comments, we can talk about it and kind of figure it out together. So if you could, please like, and subscribe and thank you for watching.